I grew up in Williamsburg, Virginia, and uh, basically got into art because my mom was an artist. And she like, you know, was, hey, why don't you do oil paints? Why don't you do oil paints? No, I don't want to do it. It's dirty, it's disgusting, it's nasty, you can't wash it off. And then one day I decided to go ahead and pick them up and give them a try. And that was pretty much it. It, it just hooked me from there. I've always been a political kind of guy, you know, as far as my art's concerned. But when September 11th hit, I did work where I was starting to question myself whether I should do this kind of work. You know, it's, oh, you know, oh, maybe this is too harsh for right now. But I got to thinking, artists have to do that kind of work because we're the documentarians of history without even having to pick up a book or anything. People respond more as a general public to pictures and images than they do text on a page. Well, I, have, I have four bodies of work, my political work, my cityscapes and noir, my noir prints, which are drawings, and then Deluded Loss, which is a series of works that, that deals with black soldiers of World War II specifically, because there's, there's such a longer war, and it's so close to where we are now. And it kind of bothered me that every time you would see one of these movies and everything, you would see them, but you wouldn't see black soldiers in it. I'm, you, know, you know we were there. I got pictures of family members that's in uniform. And then what really got me one day was, I, I was looking at the History Channel and Tom Brokaw was doing something called The Color of War. It was a documentary of you know, the war, but it was dealing with the war in color, not black soldiers of World War II. And that just set me off. That, along with this magazine that I got celebrating 50 years of World War II, um, it was a, a bunch of letters in the magazine from soldiers of World War II. Only one or two were from black soldiers out of 208 pages. And that upset me. And so I started Deluded Lost because it dealt with the fact that as much as we struggled, as much as we proved between uh, the Tuskegee Airmen, the uh, 761st Tank Battalion, those guys, and, and all of them who were told, you can't do this, you can't, you're not capable of being a good soldier, went out and exploded as far as how well they did the job without complaint and better than most of their counterparts. And, and got the jobs done efficiently, but at the same time, as long as they were over there fighting for America, America didn't care. You know, how do you, how do you show somebody that thank you when they're over there fighting in this war where everybody else sacrificed just as much and then come home and then all of a sudden you're no longer part of that war. You're, no, you're just like you were when you left. It's a big dishonor. It's not a pretty picture what I paint. But it's an important one, I think. And that's what I wanted this series to be about. It, it needs to be about a historical value where people can respond to it.